Hey everyone, welcome to the last, has to be the last, the last episode of Resi 8. It was over so soon. I had so much fun. I think this is part eight. A lot happened. We fought so many bad guys, but it has to come to an end eventually. Um, I think we still have Heisenberg coming up and then possibly has to be Mother Miranda. She's the only one. She's been very, very in the background. We haven't even seen her at all. She, has, she hasn't even said anything to us. That's kind of weird when you think about it. She kind of has to come in every now and then if she's going to be the final boss, but we'll see. We're going to find out. I'm very nervous to play this because I think from now on, from this part on, shit's going to get crazy. I think we're going to get boss fight after boss fight after boss fight if it's kind of like how Capcom does it, you know? So I'm ready to be very stressed. I'm going to do my best. I hope you guys like it. Let's go fight. <laughs> Big energy. Big energy. I did all the shop stuff, right? Oh, look at his organization. I like it. Yeah, I think I'm good. Um, what floor were we on? Top floor? Let me see. We need to go... Here. So yeah, B1. Yeah. Dude, don't scare me like that. Jesus. I was just looking at the map. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. up we go. God, I am so worried what he's going to do with all those dudes. This is massive. I feel like if it's like any other Capcom game, I feel like they should just... They would, not that they should. But I feel like if it's Resi Capcom, they would just bomb this whole place and forget about it. Heisenberg Ski. Uh, I'm so nervous. What's it gonna be like? I unlocked it well. I did a thing. You really are a tough one. Ooh, what's that rumbly? Time to die. Time to die, Mr. Bond. Someone's waiting for you. <laughs> no, is it propeller, dude? Storm. Use the cheap turboprop engine. There he is, but he's impossible to control. All he does is charge. Too much power output from the reactor. Completely invincible, head on. But the dumbass managed to chop his own damn arms, arms off on the propeller. Also issues with overheating from running for long periods of time. Hmm. Okay, so... <coughs> So no arms, overheating maybe, weakness behind, not, not, don't attack it head on, obviously. God, sounds heavy. Do I need to reload anything? I don't think so. Um, I should put this one back here. So we have everything ready. Oh God. Okay. Here we go. I'm scared. No! <laughs> 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 oh god! Oh god! Oh shit! Uh, uh. Oh my god. Is he just gonna destroy everything? Okay, so he destroys all the walls. Oh god, Jesus. What am I gonna do about you, little guy? Yes, yes, that's it, that's it. He doesn't like the metallic things. Dumbass. Oh god. Shit, I just can't get past him. How am I gonna... God, what am I gonna do? Okay. Oh 
right there. Oh my god. Yes. Reactor on the back. Okay. Oh, fuck. Why did I run into here again? Shit. Do I have any pipe bombs or anything? No. Maybe I can shoot him in the legs? Nope. Totally didn't work. God, he doesn't even, like, stop long enough, though. Maybe I should shoot him in the back of this. Oh, wait! How did you get there? Did I get him? Oh, I definitely got him this time. Okay, okay, okay. He's destroying everything. This is good. If I'm far away enough, he just charges head on. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna stand here. Run to the side. He runs straight, and then I shoot. Oh, frame rate. Okay, I think this is it. I think this is the tactic. I'm not panicking anymore. I can do this. God, my frame rate is not like this. He's on fire. Oh god. Dude! Oh god. He's still coming. Ah! Oh, I just barely evaded him. Can't see him. Oh. Oh, he's gonna overheat! I don't even see him. Ooh, hi. Dude, how are you still alive, man? Oh god, what? How, what? How, dude, how did you... What just happened? Oh god. <laughs> Come this way. Okay. Oh god, this is stressful. Okay, I'm getting him. I'm getting him. Oh shit, he didn't run. Okay, I got him. Eee! I don't know why my game freaked out earlier. Okay, he's on fire again. Oh god. How do you like that, bitch? He's so scary. Shoot him, shoot him. I hope that works. Oh, I'm empty. I think I should still hit him in the back, but... Ooh. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay, I'm still hitting him, but I don't know. Oh god, he didn't like that. Where is he?
Oh god. Dude is so quick! Oh god. Can't hit it from the side. Oh god, this fight is lasting forever. Ooh. God damn it, dude. Oh god. God damn it. I think I should do something when the fire happens, but... Ooh. But I'm taking too long. There, there, there. Oh, did I get him? Shit. Now stay down. Oh my god, I finally got him. Did I know? Okay, okay, okay. He exploded. He exploded. <sighs> I don't like this. I don't like this at all. That was way too hard. Oh, that's not even the main thing. <sighs> You're so scary. I need a moment. Um, wait. Wait, wait. Oh yeah, it's blue. Okay. So there's probably just stuff I can get here. A cigar? Miranda is abominable. Her deceit knows no bounds. We're merely a bunch of failed cadeau experiments to her. I was just lucky I had more affinity to the stuff than the other poor schmucks in the village. So she still calls me her son. What a joke. I'll never forgive her for what she did to me. Crazy B, she has never been right in the head. She can't see a difference between experiment and family. Miranda didn't just change my body, she took my dignity. If I don't kill her, then my life will never be my own. Still, she may be crazy, but she's also powerful. She can turn into any she can turn into anyone using the mega mega my seat. Um, the trick is that brat Rose. If I could access her power, then maybe. Speaking of, the kid's dad, Ethan, has a pretty interesting body himself. Maybe I could get him to help me out. Pretty interesting body himself, huh? Yeah, I think I'm So now now that I'm a little bit later into the game and I've had more time to think about it, I think think I'm on the right track. That Ethan was being held captive in a way to protect the protect Rose. Rose's parts. Wait, what's here? Hmm. Secret? Um, and they were using the flowers to keep him in, under control because he thought he was with Mia, you know? Um, but I, yeah, I think he's like some special boy because he, he is obviously infected. Otherwise he wouldn't survive all the hand and leg being chopped off stuff. <laughs> so because he's the dad, I feel like mother Miranda, mother Miranda was looking for a father figure and she chose Ethan. Because he was probably one of the best infected outcomes. Because he still seems kind of like sane in a way. Apart from thinking that four flasks are li a literal baby. I, I don't think it was a baby to begin with. But I guess I'll find out soon. Did I? Oh, it's all blue. Magnificent blue. Where are we going? What are we doing? Well, that works out perfectly, doesn't it? Nice. I think that's it. Where am I now? Mm. That's, there's absolutely nothing here. What the? Yeah, I was just gonna say, did all those bolts just move? Am I fighting him immediately again? Or am I fighting immediately again and fighting Heisenberg? That's two sentences. 
nervous. <gasps> He's making his own steps. But I've got a rebellion. So stay out of my way. How the hell are we even gonna fight this? Excuse me? Don't come back here. Oh, he didn't want to fight us? Oh, dude. That was a long fall. Holy shit. Well, thanks, Heisenberg. I'm glad that he didn't want to fight us. That bastard. Damn it again. Okay. That's where we go. It's blue, so I guess that's where we go right now. What if we don't fight him at all? What if it's just straight off to Miranda right now? Oh, at least I'm assuming Miranda. Do you think- no. Do you think they'll keep Miranda for like a Resi 9? Nah. Nah, nah. Uh, oh, Jesus, Chris. Scared me. I told me. you to leave it alone, Ethan. You are in the way. What do you care, Chris? You killed my wife, you son of a bitch! You think I killed Mia? That wasn't her. Mm -hmm. It was Miranda. What? She's a bioweapon. She changed Am her I appearance right? and pretended to be Mia. Am I right? Seems she also survived being shot, so now I'm here to finish the job. Bullshit! Why don't you fucking tell me right away? Because I knew you would want to be involved. And this job is hard enough without civilians getting in the way. Why us, Chris? What the hell is going on? All right, Ethan. Tell me All everything. Right. I guess I owe you an explanation. Yes. Hand me that wrench. <laughs> he knocks him out. <laughs> Tell me. Long story short, Miranda's fucking insane. In this village, all these monsters and freaks, this is her life's work. Some sort of crazy experiment with the mold. The mold. Like Louisiana. God damn it. All this time, I thought I could save my family. I can't escape from here. I can't do anything. That might not be true. Take a look at this. My men sent those pictures a few minutes ago. Miranda. Keep looking. Rose. Holy shit, we gotta go! Relax, my men are monitoring the situation. But they have my daughter. You don't get anything. You don't stand a chance against Miranda by yourself. No. Hmm. I will stay down here and finish planting explosives. You take that elevator, I'll meet you topside. I promise you, we will get your daughter back. Together. Damn straight we will. And when I find Miranda, she's a dead woman. Wait, Chris, you didn't explain shit. All right, Ethan. Then you take this and do me a favor. Try to stay under the radar. Really? That's it? You're not explaining anything. Like, so I actually had a baby? Can't turn back now. And if I actually had a baby, then I actually then Mia had to have survived right then why is he not questioning what happened at which point Mia became Miranda how is he okay with this half-assed explanation that it was Miranda like are you not concerned where Mia is then how are we not getting any answers for this what the fuck what's going on Houndwolf squad 
Sweep of the factory is complete. No proof of any connection with the organization. Guess this just was our, wasn't our lucky day. Did manage to get my hands on a number of documents disclosing some of Miranda's experiments, which supports our previous theories. She seems to have infected herself with the mutamycete, which has granted her a number of abil abilities, including mimicry. She can control her cells and transform herself to look like anyone or anything. She disguised herself as Mia and infiltrated the Winter's ha home. Her objective was clearly to kidnap Rose. Maybe she thought she could control Rose easier if she looked like her mom. When we attacked, it put a little damper on her plan, so she mimicked a corpse. She then revived herself in the transport truck, killed everyone on board, and took off with Rose. Things didn't go the way she had originally planned, but in the end, we still, she still got what she wanted. Until now. It's time to rendezvous and blow this place sky high. It's my turn into a fight with Heisenberg, but I think I found something useful. He left one of his little toys laying around, and it's even made from a metal polymer composite, which he can't control. Time to turn the tables. He left one of his little toys laying around, made from a metal that he can't control. So there's some metal he can't control. I am so confused. When Chris was like, I'm gonna explain. I was like, oh, here it comes. We're gonna like see what happened or any or something. But no. <laughs> we don't know shit. How is he not concerned about what happened to Mia then? If Miranda took over, do you think... Or is he... Did he just accept that Mia is dead then? I'm so confused. What are we doing with this? Rewriting it? Metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. Okay. <clears throat> we ride in the tank. I'm coming, Rose. Ready cannon hold. Fire cannon. Okay. Space guard. Machine gun. Fire cannon. Okay. Didn't see this coming. <laughs> Wait, isn't this the elevator? Oh! That was a little goat. Well, I missed that one. Where are we going? We're going so high! I guess we're going topside, huh? You did say that. Reloading. Oh, it reloads you automatically. You think you can take me on? Fine. This will be my before I kill you. My god. Ah! This is so like um This is so Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> Am I even hitting anything? So this I think I got him. I'll just aim for the red spots, okay? Did he like that? Yeah! Aim for the red spots! Yeah! Time to test this baby out! Coward! In the face of my steel claw! Yes, I do have to burn that bitch! Nice! <laughs> I'll kill her. Uh, I'm stuck. That's okay. what I call you, ah. <laughs> I miss. The blast like knocks me back. Dude, I can't get in there. Oh, oh ow, ow. 
I'm just gonna hit him in the head for that one because it's a little bit safer. And no red spots, dude? What are you gonna do? Oh. Oh. He doesn't like that. Oh. oh god! Oh god! Dude! Um. What are we doing? I don't know what I'm doing! There we go. Don't destroy my little cart. No! Ooh, dude! Yeah, that's gone, dude. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? Um, um, um. Uh. What are we, what do you want me to do? What, what are you giving me? Shotgun? Handgun? Okay. Rifle. Too bad I'm your only fan. Oh god, he's coming. Here we go, Ethan. The Ooh, go, 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 go. Well, what do you think? It's hopeless. Right? Just give up. Flesh and blood will never win against me! This isn't David and Goliath. No god. It's Ethan! And a bloody demise! He does so much talking. He doesn't like. He doesn't like shots to the head. Who'd guessed, huh? Okay, run. Go, 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 go. Woo hoo 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 hoo. Okay. Having fun. Nice. I did something. Um. Go. No, not this one. This one. We're gonna go flame. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. What's happening? What's happening? Oh my god. What are we doing? Wait. How am I flying? It's not. I'm not metal, am I? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Falling down is gonna hurt. No way! No way! No way! Shoot! Shoot! Oh my god. This can't be the end for me! Can I move? I must kill her! Oh. Oh. That can't be the end of him. Oh. Alright. Phone call? Iron Giant down. Achievement unlocked. Alpha. Ethan? Omega speaking. What the hell happened? I dealt with Heisenberg. Now I'm gonna find Miranda and get Rose back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. Wait there, you hear me? Ethan? <gasps> Rose? What? Ethan. Ethan, respond. Oh, you're hallucinating, dude. You're hallucinating. Yeah. You're hallucinating, I knew it. Our child. Shoot her in the head. She's so important, isn't she? She's everything to me. <laughs> and mine to me. With Heisenberg gone, you've lost your lead. What are you going What's to do? What's that tree in the background doing? I don't know, but I'm saving Rose. You'd never know, do you? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Poor Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Enough. Her face! She looks cool! Remember Evelyn and her power over them all? Yes. Rose is her successor. Uh-huh. No, 
E003, Rose right? Is Evelyn's true complete form. Ah, she so will she doesn't grow old. Control the masses. And I must have her. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! She has some impressive waterproof makeup on. Calm yourself. Rose will be saved. The Mega My Seat catalogs all of us. However, she will be reborn as my daughter. She's my child, not yours. Where are you? Show yourself. Why did Rose come to be? <gasps> was it because of her? Parents? It was her. And you are truly a special case. Oh my but I've god. I learned all I can. From you. Your worth as a lab rat has run out. Miranda, you coward. Come out and face me. Don't face shoes she did. Your death will come quick. You will join the Mega My Seeds records. <laughs> That's your heart! I will make sure to sample your blood for later. <laughs> Once dawn breaks, the Are you ceremony still alive? will be complete, and I will become her true mother, bound for eternity in blood. <laughs> Just grow a new heart. Just pour some, like, health juice in there. I've waited so long. The dreams really can come true. Vessel or not, I can't wait to see my true child again. Damn. Wait, how is Ethan gonna survive this? Is he gonna get a metal heart from the factory? He has to like juice it up like um what's that one action movie? Jason Statham. Statham? Captain, I've confirmed the death of Ethan Winters. Holy shit. I wasn't able to retrieve the body, but I've recorded evidence. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda. Oh, flashback? But we didn't kill her. No. Who knew she could fake being a corpse? Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him. And she is not gonna get away with it. I don't think Ethan's dead. God damn it, when does it end? What's that, sir? I mean, he could the be, mission? but... All of it. Chris, Three years smoke? trying to put this thing in the ground. Three years too long. Man, Chris has seen it all, hasn't he? In like the Resi movies, he either drinks himself to death and here he's smoking. <laughs> he's seen too much shit. Those biceps, though. So BSAA got here already. They didn't waste any time. Mission I just adjustment? can't get used to how he looks. No, doesn't change anything. Terminate Miranda and rescue Rose. That's the mission. And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Roger. Yeah, okay. K9, I want to know what the hell BSAA is doing here. Find out what you can. Roger that. I'm on it. I so wish. It's been a while since we fought together, Captain. When was it last? The desert? Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turn herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at, either. Spooky. I really, really was hoping that he would say asshole. <laughs> you know how in... It was asshole. I think it's asshole. There's this one dude in Revelations. 
Resi Revelations. <laughs> and I think his code name is Asshole or Bastard. Let me see. I'm thinking of Quint Ketchum. Code name Jackass. That was it. Why was I thinking asshole? Well, same thing, really. I was really hoping that in that moment he would be like, Jackass. <laughs> but unfortunately, no. They've gone with a much more serious vibe, I guess. I have no map. Oh no, what am I gonna do? No map? My whole life was a lie! I think they took Chris's body, probably, and kept him alive. Somehow. Hey, Alpha. Look at this. The SAA. They've gone too far. That's what you were with, dude. Before. Christ. It looks pretty rough down there. Hey, we finally had a helicopter go down. Have to take that it is out. a resi game. You got your back, boss. Let's get to work. Everyone watch for hostile bioweapons. Roger. Okay. Make contact with a group of hostile bioweapons. It's more than we thought. Watch out. Oh, bitches. Do I? Oh, God. I have a lot of ammo. Let's rush in. I'm rushing in! Western route is clear. Moving out. Roger that. Nice. I like to see those popping heads. Those heads popping, I guess. Two guards. Do, 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 do. Give me all the shit! Don't get cocky. Don't get cocky, kid. I'll be cocky enough for the both of us. Because I'm Chris. And I got a lot of bullets. So, uh, what? Oh, 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 okay. What is this? Med injector. Medicine that heals all wounds. Okay. Then we have five grenades. We have a carambit knife. Fancy. We have a target locator. Laser targeting device. What? What does that do? Used to track targets. Targeting must be held until shells drop. Um, then we have a dragoon. Whatever that is. A rifle. And we have a USM. Okay. Flash grenades. Okay. Oh, these are different. Oh, yeah. Okay. This uses hand gun bullets? Huh. Dang. It's all. You to my seat. That's probably the right place. Let's go. So wait, is this the rifle? Lord oh god! Reload, reload, reload. Might be releasing infectious particulates. Keep your mouth. Gosh, dude, this ah! Oh, A strong rifle. I mean, it's a rifle. They had eyes on Miranda too. They probably felt they needed to intervene. Damn it! Pass blocked. No worries. This way. Detour around the village. Mm-hmm. Well, I did not expect to be playing as Chris, but it makes sense. Preparing for support fire. Might be a minute. Roger. Tundra here. Leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. In the houses as well. Whoa! Yes! Oh my god, that's cool. Where though? I don't see it. It just mean this, or maybe here. Nope. Still no map. Nope. Oh, that is so cool. Holy shit. <laughs> Uprise, I need some backup. I see you. 200 to the point. Oh, God. Ah, reloading. No! 
Oh, dude. Oh, God. Back up, please. Back up, please. Back up, please. Just kidding. I'm Chris. I don't need backup. I'm tough. Um, I guess I don't need to be here. It, this is not where I'm supposed to go, is it? Why am I even here? Okay, let's go this way. Oh, uh, or not. Can't climb that, huh? So now I go this way? So wait, I go here? But then how do I... Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I get it, I get it. Back it up, back it up. Okay, let's go here because I saw stuff. I saw a green light. Yes, 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 yes. I'll have everything. Thank you. Oh god, I'm reloading. Ah! <laughs> Dude, don't scare me like that. Just kidding, I'm tough. Eh! I'm Chris. Hey, I can ice. No, 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 I have 600 bullets. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Okay. Ah! Stop, 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 stop! Too close, go! Oh, 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 oh. This dude. Marking the target. Dude, what? There's a... There was a lichen right behind us. Bingo! Alright! Is that good? Reloading now. Just a minute. This is swarm headed that way. Oh shit, dude. Oh! Fire! Oh my god, dude, there's so many. Okay, okay. Me and Say guys are engaging the bioweapons. If you're right, Captain, they must be after the Okay. Hold your forces. I'm reloading. Is there another barrel somewhere? Oh my god. 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 Okay, that's a, that's a lot. Oh god, there's so many. Get the big guys. Uh. Shoot him! Oh my god, there's too many. Stop! Sure they're thinking the same about you. Bioweapon numbers are increasing. Did I do it? Good. 
Oh my god, dude, that was so many of them. Holy shit. I'm coming in! I found a way oh, out. I'm going in, the rest of you stay back. Wait, how did Captain, this get here? I compared the mold in the village with a sample from the bakers, and uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E-series. The stuff originated here. Okay. So this is the source of the mold? Is that a m mine? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, dude. Go my seat, huh? Holy shit. How'd you jump off? What? Oh god. Oh my god, dude. Hold on till you get there? Ah. What do you want me to do? Oh, oh my god! Ah. Can I climb up here? No. Ah. Good. I'll signal with the locator. I have to hold it. Oh. Reloading now. Just a minute. Dude, what the fuck am I gonna do with this guy? Uh, I don't think I can heal anymore, can I? Stay there. Yeah, stay there. That's great. <gasps> ah. Do I have health? I'm reloading. Ready when you are. Fuck, that didn't work. This is taking forever. Oh my god. Can you hurry it up, please? I'm in this pit with this fucking dude. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Stay there for a bit. Thanks. Okay, I blocked it. I'm reloaded. Where should I Thank God. Can you just die already? Prepping the next round. Just a oh sec. my God! How many? Oh God! He's he's almost done though. Uh. Oh my God. I'll keep Dude. Going. The rest of you, stay above ground. How do we? Oh, we're gonna go through here. <laughs> My god. Stressful as fuck. So if Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? I yeah, doubt she exactly. saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little burn told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. I found well, it. It's the Mega My Seed. Oh, it even looks like the Kado. She might keep me alive because it would be something Alpha that you squad. can keep Ethan under I've control with. The so now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. I really wonder if um. <sighs> and to nice throw. Out. 
There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Roger that. Standing by. Captain, Wouldn't killing that thing also... At the ceremony site. Keep your Kill distance. Miranda? Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but... We really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. We didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. <laughs> yeah. Chris is so different. This must be Miranda's lab. Salvatore Moreau. Affinity low. Brain function surprisingly low. Cadeau has, has caused drastic changes to internal organs. What am I hearing? Transforming them into organs similar to fish-like gills and, and a swim bladder. Another subject with a regular cell division caused him to transform into a giant fish. Subjects unable to control this. Too many defects. An unfit vessel for Eva. Eva. Um... Alcina, most favorable. Brain function normal. Regeneration rate is incredibly fast. Subject can heal an, any external wound within seconds and grow her nails into claws in mere moments. Rapid regeneration also means an increased body size. Due to a hereditary blood disease, the subject must ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis to maintain regeneration properties. Ah. I suspect that if subject's regeneration is not properly balanced, then she may mutate uncontrollably. An unfit vessel. Okay. And then we have Donna, was it? Yes, my brain works sometimes. Oh, Heisenberg. Incredibly favorable. Brain function normal. Has electric... Electric organs similar to an electric ray. Narc... What? These electric organs are... Connected to a subject's nervous system. Can therefore pass and control electricity throughout the entire body, allowing control of magnetic fields, such it, which is used to move metal. Splendid specimen, but still unfit for Eva. And then this is Donna. Donna Beneviento. Normal, severe mental illness. Physically, she's no different from a regular human. However, she can secrete a signal producing substance which controls plants infected by the mutamycete. When humans absorb the po pollen from a particular flower, she can cause them to have hallucinations. However, she's mentally underdeveloped and has divided her cadeau among her dolls in order to control them from a distance. Unfit vessel. Interesting. She's my favorite. Beneviento. Babies. Mama. Research. Oh, is that Evelyn? Looks like it. So yeah, Evelyn was the first one. She was E001. And then my baby, Rose, is E003. Dear Miranda, my deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I am incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor half that medical student in the snow. I've always cherished the revelations I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research. To think one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism. Positively visionary. I knew that with that, that knowledge I should I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Even after two world wars and humanity on the cusp of another, my conviction never wavered. I realized, however, though, through the many nights of intellectual talks you and I shared, that your conviction differed from mine. You hoped to bring back a single dead person while I aimed to change the world. Your experiments on the mold would not have aided me in my endeavor to achieve an exponential infection. I thought a virus would be more effective. This is why, my dear, I had to leave you. I still regret never telling you goodbye. My apologies for reminis remin reminiscing. I actually have news that I thought might please you. I found the key to evolution. The progenitor, a virus found in Africa. 
I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues dedicated to the virus research. I will call it Umbrella. Just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about. Oh, so this is the origin point of it all. I'm one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you will be able to achieve your goal someday too. You taught me so much and for that I will be forever in your debt. Spencer! Oswald E. Spencer. Oh my god. Spencer. He was here? here. Is this Spencer? No way. Oh my god, Spencer is talking to Miranda? What? That is so cool. Holy shit. Okay. That's very... Ah, oh, there she is, Evelyn. My Eva, it's been 100 years since I lost you to the Spanish flu. I was so powerless back then, but now I can bring you back to life from the my mega my seat. I had to test your new vessel's regenerative abilities. I took her apart and re revived her in the Megamycete reg Regulator, the Giant's Chalice. All that is left is to merge her with the Megamycete. The ceremony can finally begin. After I lost you, I was so stricken with grief that I wandered into a cave to die. I so wanted to be with you again, and that's when I found it. The Megamycete, completely by accident. When I touched the black substance, my mind was overcome with knowledge. The Megamycete breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I knew that if your consciousness was in there too, then there would be a way to bring you back. I just needed the right vessel. When I returned to the village, I implanted the villagers with mold from the Megamycete. That way I could control them and experiment on them. I've experimented on hundreds of people just to find you the perfect vessel. I even tried to increase the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite I called Kado. Yet none of my experiments came to fruition. There were some, like Alcina, Alcina who were close to being perfect, but most turned into lichens. I was once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold in your DNA. Oh, but all they created was another defect, Evelyn. Oh, so that's how it sits together. Okay, or sticks together, whatever you want to call it. Then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose thanks to them and knew she would be the perfect vessel. So Rose is the perfect version of Evelyn. What started with Evelyn. Because she is the child of Ethan and Mia who both were infected. I learned of Rose thanks to them. I knew she would be the perfect vessel. There was some interference but I was able to verify her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Eva, I have waited too long to see you again. That's Mia, right? On the right there? And, uh, and the dude in the black there. That's the dude that was on the ship with uh, Mia. Also, I said Miranda had waterproof makeup, but then I was like, wait, she can make you see whatever she wants you to see, so... Probably... She probably did that to her appearance. The, the makeup is probably more of a permanent kind of alteration. Do you even have a... Oh yeah, he does have a knife. A Chris, Ooh. hey, the actual Mia. Show me your hands. <gasps> Umbrise, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still at the ceremony site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. God damn, it really is you. I'm glad you saved me. Why are you here? I was caught in Houston experiments. Did you say Mia? Mia Winters? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it. You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here. Everything. Yeah, why would you move care. them so close to the village? So long as we were together. So you tell me, where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Ethan is... is gone. I mean, you said Mia was dead as well, so anything's possible at this point. I couldn't save him. But I can save Rose. Come on. It's not safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. 
Miranda ripped his heart out. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. Ethan? Yes, tell me. I want to know. Here we go. So you just grew a heart back, didn't you? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> so it's there. Where are you, though? It's cold. Wait, is this? Am I still on the same field? Just in a different season? How did I get here? God, it's freezing. Well, who knows how long you've been on the ground there? This shit! My body! You're so dumb. No, oh, Evelyn! Oh my god! Holy shit! How are you here? Didn't think we'd see her again. You're dead. <laughs> dead? Um. I mean, Miranda. She. Uh, no. I saw Maybe if you'd be dead, you wouldn't be struggling so much, dude. You're fine. <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? I can still. See? Miranda didn't kill you. The molding. You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt? Remember? Hmm. The house, ah, oh, seven is so good. Three years ago, the Baker House. You were murdered by Jack. Oh, that was the point I died. You died there three <gasps> years ago. Oh my God, that would be amazing. That's that's impossible. No way. <laughs> You shouldn't even be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Screw you! What, what am I? That makes so much sense. I... I... I, I did all that. <laughs> Plus, you made a baby. How'd you do that? Rose. Mia. I. Ooh. Ooh. How do you get it? Your whole body is nothing but mold. Your family again. Oh, God. Family. Family. No. Rose. I have to save my daughter. You're already dead. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will save Rose. Oh, 
Ivy. Hi. I'll save you no matter what. How did Mold make a baby, though? No, <gasps> the Duke. He saved me. At last, he awakes. Oh yes. Where am I? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much, and I'm already on the way. Oh? We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. Mm. My own borrow time? Yes. Oh, shit. Foolish of me to ask. Be sad if Ethan permanently Speaking dies. Of questions. Who or what are you? Even I can't quite answer that. I knew he was special. He must also be infected. We're here. In his own way. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? So what are we gonna do? Yeah. I have to be. You took me right to the spot, huh? I gotta go. Get Rose back from Miranda. Horsey! That horse is very calm. Oh, is he in the back? Oh yeah, he is! This is your last chance. Okay. Got some things. Valuable, valuable, 60k, 70k, damn. I got a cigar for you, do you like it? Okay, that's it. Oh, the assemblage of life and machine. I can feel Lord Heisenberg's essence through These are, oh, we can upgrade them further now. Um. Delighted. Shotgun. And this, the rifle. 60k. Twenty three hundred, twelve hundred. Wait, that's a hundred K? That would be everything. Hundred K, eighty K, sixty K. Okay. We have fifty K left. What are we gonna do? Maybe buy bullets? An interesting selection. I saw uh, you buying that one. They get more expensive with every one of them. What's this? Oh, long barrel. For the handgun. Oh. Well, I can't get that now. <laughs> Your journey nears its end. Please, be well. Thanks. Thanks, man. Is there a typewriter here, too? I think I'm ready. I got a bunch of stuff. Hey, hey, the map is back. Woo! <laughs> oh, there's a typewriter. I think that's it. Okay, so we have fire. We have a lot of handgun bullets. We have a lot of shotgun shells. We don't have that many rifle bullets. Can I... I can't craft anything except more mines. Unfortunately. Okay, well... Let's give it a shot. 
I thought I was recording for like two hours and I looked over and I was like, an hour? So much happened. Oh, slow walk for dramatic effect. Out of my way. Man, I don't want Ethan to die. That would suck. Oh shit. Go, go, go. I gotta keep going. Yeah, just keep going. Ah, uh, little Eva, my beautiful daughter. Come to me. Eva, is that you? Oh, how I've missed you. Is it though? What? Is it just Rose again? My power is leaving me! Rose! Miranda! Interesting. Your body certainly isn't normal. Give Rose to me! Now! You will see. Once I kill you properly, every- Get her now! <sighs> Let go! Kick her. I've spent a Kick her away from you. creating this moment. And you try to take it away from me. I oh. will take what is due. <sighs> My desires oh, will she got the be baby. fulfilled. No. Rose is mine! What the fuck? There we go. Ooh, cool. Oh my god, so you cool. Holy shit. Purpose, you disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious. <laughs> now, please do not worry for little Rose. I assure you I'll I'm just gonna her stick to handgun for now. So now you can die peacefully and permanently. Do not let Don't you resist. I'm I'm guessing I'm doing fine. Ah! Didn't lock for that one. Please, Mr. Winters, stop struggling. I shall finish this. Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh god, it's lava! The tree is lava! Die. You understand the love of a parent to a child. How can you deny me? Oh, spider. Spider. She's a spider. She's a spider. Not yours. I shall put you to rest. here your time is up now die oh the men of my seat saved me from the pits of despair it oh my god me this splendid oh power. she's a bird she's a bird yeah, that's right. so cool she's so cool nuts. oh my god she's beautiful Where is this ammo that keeps popping up in my... Ooh! Oh, I blocked that just in time. I can't, I can't. I can't see. Okay, I got her. Die and be swallowed into the mega my seat for oh, all God. time. I can't. There. <laughs> okay, she didn't like that. She didn't like that. I think I'm doing doing good. Are there any items here? Oh God. <laughs> now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you left things in my house. Yes. The hell I will. 
Die, 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 die. Yes. If I combine Rose with a Mega Mice, my daughter will be made manifest at last. I've been a century. Oh, a God. A century. All for this day. Okay, I think I'm good here. Why won't you die? I've never seen a human live without a um, heart. Are you sure? Shit. Shit. This is... God Why damn, you... lady. Surely you have no need for us now. So close to death. Ooh, Hesha. She's my goddamn daughter. You psycho. Uh. Such vitality. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Curse this I found it. God, this takes forever. Why? Ah! No! My God, kills me fucking instantly. I I didn't block like two. Holy shit! Okay. Let's try again. You fulfilled your purpose, Mr. Winters. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious I need to make sure now, to keep blocking. Now, worry for little Rose. I assure you I'll provide her with true purpose. So now you can die. Fuck. You understand the lack of parent or child, How can you deny me? Why the hell can't you realize Rose is my goddamn kid, not yours? This Jesus, she really hurts. The Mega My Seat saved me from the pits of despair. It granted me this splendid power! Yeah, right. All it's done is drive you nuts. Where is she? Will this kill you? Uh, I hope not. Die and be swallowed into the Megamyces for all time! Okay. Okay, I think that's good. I think I'm doing good. Okay, here we go. <laughs> now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you left things in my house. Oh, okay. The hell I will! Die, 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 die! <laughs> I will take back my daughter! Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> I understand your feelings, Mr. Ooh. Okay. But this is the end for you. If I combine Rose uh. with the Mega My Seat, my daughter oh, will God. be made hide, hide, hide. at last! Oh. That was just in time. A century! All for this day! Die. Where is she? I'm trying so hard. Psycho. Oh god, I keep missing my blocks. I will see my hopes. I must. Stand still. <laughs> okay, I did it. I blocked. Impudent. That's a word. Still stuck. 
Okay, I did it. I've never seen a human live without his heart. Are you sure you're not? I mean, what do you think? They do a little do thinking, Miranda. My years of loneliness. Ever think the problem might be you, Miranda? You're not capable of real love. <laughs> she didn't like that. You shouldn't have said that. This is how you end. Shangi. To ensure I never see your face, I will see. Okay, we're good. Is that the first face? <laughs> no, I was walking. Okay. 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 <sighs> Holy shit. <sighs> My daughter. can't be done yet, right? I feel like she's gonna transform into something else. Is there a baby in there? <gasps> There's a baby in there! Let's hope it's not Miranda incarnate. She did say her power was leaving her, so... Dude, I hope you can survive somehow. Oh no, there he goes. No, Ethan. Oh, that would be so sad. Is he gonna die like that? Rose! Rose, use your powers. Ethan! Revive your Ethan! daddy. Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan, wake up. What's that? Chris. Ethan. He did it. What? It's what? I think we've finished each other. What's the thing in the background? Ethan. We gotta move. I think Ethan's done. I don't think he's got much left in him. He's gonna drop the baby. Oh, be careful. Although, I guess the baby's fine, huh? Baby can withstand anything now. That thing is massive. Oh, the wounds are coming back from before. Keep moving, Ethan. There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. I love how they don't show ah, his it. face. Mia's waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Rose, Keep use close. your powers. Say, hey, hey. Please. Uh, hey. Uh, uh, uh. And you tell yourself. Now oh, come on, it's not that much further. Watch over. Teach her to Damn be strong. Are they really gonna let oh no? Oh, he took the trigger too, damn. Goodbye, Rosemary. Rosemary. What a beautiful name. Ethan. <laughs> Gotta run, Chris. Ethan, no, why? Well, I guess he was dead this whole time, so he's like, okay, let's finally rest. <laughs> Still, though, it's Rezzy. He might still come back. <laughs> Damn, it's massive. Why did it come out of the ground, though? Are we not gonna see the explosion? Surprise, Rose. Mia is fine. Go. I was so convinced Go, she was gonna now. be dead this whole time. 
Because the ending of 7 does not make sense. But I guess that's Resident Evil. Wait. You gotta be fine with plot holes. Get moving. We have to get clear. No! We can't go! Not without my husband! Mia, sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Tell me what's going on. Where? Let's hope this helicopter doesn't crash, huh? Well, technically, it's not a helicopter, so... Man, we didn't even get, like, a rocket that? launcher or something. I told you to sit down. For the final boss. Where is he? Chris! What have you done? He's gone! I tried. He stayed so we could all escape. I'm sorry. Captain. You need to see this. BSAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. The hell were they thinking? Oh. What did they send? What? Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. Oh. But Chris was with the Someone's BSAA, right? In five. I wonder how Rose is gonna grow up. Whoa, that's the end? Damn, they got balls. Have the main character die like that? I'm a little bit sad that Ethan actually died. At least I- yeah, he must have. There's no way they're gonna survive that blow. He's like Cell. Every last Cell has to be destroyed. Um, Cell in Dragon Ball. Man, I'm so sad that he's dead. I don't really like that. Like, we've never really had a main character die before in Resi, right? Well, some playable characters, but not like the main character. It's like, it feel, almost feels like like having Leon or Chris or, or Ada or um, Claire or Jill die. That would be like, holy shit, you know? I know Ethan wasn't part of the series for that long, but... Usually, usually, like, when a new character is introduced, it either dies that same part, or it survives and then it comes back in future games, usually, for Resi games. Unless I'm missing some characters that I can't think of right now. Um, like, it's crazy to me that he's the main character in Seven, and then he survives. Well, technically he doesn't, but... Man, I'm sad. I'm a, I'm a little bit unsatisfied. Oh, I'm unsatisfied with the ending, but also I feel like it's a cool ending that they dared to do that. The whole thing with Rose doesn't make sense to me, though. Like, how the fuck did they tear her apart and then put her back together and she's exactly the same? Like, how does that work? And how... Um, what, was, what was the whole deal with Miranda then? She tried to put the soul of her child into Rose, but... Like, how did she even think Gifts that would gave, happen? But more Obviously, she snarled. So more, in turn, is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. Hmm. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, save our daughter! So mother bore their child to safety, as the forest was consumed. Oh, shit. Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. 
To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Can you imagine though? Like I'm already I'm already thinking ahead. I'm already thinking that we could potentially get a game where Rose is the main character and she's like what, 16 or something? Like, make her, like, like a main character. Well, let's say 18 for safety reasons. Um, but she's, like, a young adult. Let's say young adult. Um, and then she, like, goes back here to in search for anything about her dad. That would be amazing. I would like that. That would be cool. Just saying. Other than that, I... Oh, man. So Ethan's done, huh? I'm so glad that didn't get spoiled to me. Holy shit. I was so scared to read any of my comments on YouTube until I finished it. Because I was like... I was so scared that someone was just gonna drop this and this happens. Like, just in my comments somewhere. Oh, I avoided it. I, was, I didn't get spoiled. I'm sad, though. Poor Ethan. I'm just surprised that both Rose and Mia are the ones who are still alive. Like, huh? I was so sure of my own theory. Especially with the... the yellow flower note, seeing dead people and stuff. I was like, oh, so Mia's dead. Um, also... Mia? Uh, wait, what? Mia said? They experimented on me for... But, for how long, I wonder? And like, what did they do exactly to her? To her? What if the mom has a cadeau in her? And Chris just took her out of there. Also, Rose, like, he just... <sighs> also, can we go take a step back and think about why Chris moved them so close to the source of the mold? Why? Why would you move them closer to danger? Why wouldn't you move Rose and Ethan and Mia to like the other side of the world? It's far away from everywhere. I guess maybe he thought that taking them there would be far away from everywhere, but then it's like... Ah, <sighs> There's just... Uh, there's a couple, a couple things where I'm just like... Can you explain this, please? <laughs> Do you have answers, please? Maybe I missed it, though. Maybe maybe it's like, maybe I missed a note or something on the way they moved to where they did, you know? <sighs> My brain is like so scrambled right now. It was such a weird... It's such a weird game when you think about it. There's so many different things going on. And like, I like how it tied it back to 7, but then at the same time it's like... Did you have to though? Did you have to explain 7? I also missed the, the part where BSAA went evil. I think... I think it, there's, a, there's a game or two where it explains what happens. Because I know Chris starts with them, but then he probably changes. Oh, so that's Mother Miranda showing up to the village. Saying, like, I can cure your child. I wonder if that kid is, like, Lady Demi or something. Who is it? I did really like that Mother Miranda was that older lady. Who was, like, doodling on the ground. No, they all got injected. It is kind of weird, though, that... Like, in this village, they inject them with stuff, and then they become... Basically werewolves slash lichens. But... In Seven, they become these mold people, right? I... 
I feel like they almost should have like done lichens and then a couple mold people here and there to like mix them together. So she was fine, the daughter, but the dad got sick. Because not everyone could take it as well. What did he dig up? Exciting music. Ooh! Dad transformed. It is like Bloodborne. <laughs> they said Bloodborne, the story as well, is like they start using the old blood as like a cure for things, but then turns out later that they all get sick and tainted and turn into werewolves, basically. <sighs> oh, she's wearing the coat. <gasps> is it Rose? Oh, it's Rose! <laughs> Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. What are you doing, Rose? You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon feels like a cure. I think it does. <laughs> but it's... Yeah. Nice shoes. God, it's so pretty. Nice hair. Oh, you'll never grow up knowing what Ethan's like. Hey, Dad. Oh. Happy birthday. Sad. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. Does she even know she has powers? Oh. She knows. Talk of the goddamn devil. They're following her. Duty calls. I love you. Oh, don't make me cry now. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. That's a bad taste. Show you things joke. Even Chris a joke in bad taste. Doesn't know I can do. Bad taste, jeez. That's a joke in bad taste, dude. Shot. Stand down. I can handle it. Damn. She's just a kid. <sighs> Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know. I know. Damn, I can't believe I was saying like, man, what if we get a sequel and she's like a teenager and then the post credits is like, here you go. <laughs> I didn't think that would happen. Can you imagine if she managed to, ooh, someone walking back there. Who is it? The car stops. What? Who did it stop for? Who is that? Oh, this is the game's way of telling that he really is dead, isn't it? I still say that he could come back someday. Almost 10 hours. Great dad, best dad ever. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got a ton of stuff. I really don't care. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Thanks. Man, I'm so sad. Why is he dead? I know a lot of people say that he's so boring. 
And they didn't like him as a character, but I really liked being Ethan. And it feels like, you know, it feels like you didn't accomplish anything if you die at the end. You want to be there to savor your accomplishments as the character, I guess. Well, at least I feel that way. I would have liked, especially when it turns out that Mia is still alive and Rose survives miraculously. I honestly did not think she was alive. I, I really was so sure they were both dead or never alive to begin with. But I guess I was wrong. And I definitely didn't expect Ethan dying, of all things. Especially him being infected with mold. I was like, oh, so he can't die at all. But for some reason, exactly now his time was up. He had an expiration date for some reason. And that was exactly at the ending of the game. If only he had a little bit more time or something. See her grow up a little bit more. I can't believe he died in seven. I mean, it makes sense because his hand was chopped off, his leg was chopped off, and it just grew back on. And he, even he was like, what the fuck? But I also feel like it doesn't really make sense. Because I feel like if Chris's organization knew that he had powers like that, um, if they would have like listened for his heartbeat or something, they would have known something was wrong and they would have done a ton of tests on him, right? Also, I wonder what organization Rose went with. That she's with a sleazeball like that. Someone who doesn't respect her at all. But does know Ethan. It's like, why would you be that mean? To someone visiting her father's grave, of all things. What the fuck? What a dirtbag. It does make sense if he did die. And it's cool that Evelyn showed up. And it's cool that Rose is like... E3, basically. I wonder who E2 is. We don't know. We know Evelyn is E1. And it's cool that they put that together. Like, they they borrowed samples from Miranda and then used that to create Evelyn. And then Miranda stole back Rose when they finally, like, had something that she could use. I just don't know. I just don't understand how she was going to try and use it. And also that ceremony place hints that Umbrella, before it was a pharmaceutical company, was like something ancient. It's basically suggesting that there's like much more to Resident Evil than just Umbrella creating viruses, basically. They're reaching really far with this one. Um, because every other Resident Evil game, almost every other probably, is like T-Virus, D-Virus, Tyrant, Nemesis, you know? It's all like bioterrorism and uh, mutating cells. And then this one is like, no, 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 there was like a source. Cave drawings of Umbrella, like, what? Ancient mold, basically, that's being used. It's very different. But at the same time, they made it work. I still... I think I gotta say, I like 7 more than 8. Especially having played 7 last week and then this week playing 8. So I, I literally played them side by side. Um, right after the other. And 7 is just so good, man. Like, the atmosphere, the house, the keys that you use, the mold in the basement. It, it was definitely so cool when it came out and it's still scary. I mean, don't get me wrong, Village is great. I liked it, the gameplay was super exciting, more action heavy, but it's totally fine. Like, it's more like 4, I absolutely love 4. I think Resident Evil can definitely choose and pick, like, some games more towards horror, some games more action. And I'll just go along with it and I'll play it. Like, I, I love Resident Evil, I'm glad the franchise is doing so well. I love all the games they've been putting out in recent years from 7 on. They really like reevaluated what they did with the games and chose a different new direction, which I really like. So I hope they keep doing that. I hope they keep like refreshing their franchise basically. Because um, not all franchises are this lucky, you know. Fatal Frame, I haven't seen a game in five years now. Silent Hill, we all know where that went. Hopefully someday we'll get a game. So. It's nice to have a steady franchise like Resident Evil 
that kind of like tries out new stuff while still staying true to the gameplay that people like, if that makes sense. It really reminds me of 4. I just want to play 4 now. Do you guys want to play Resident Evil 4? So fun. Such a good game. Maybe I'll stream it or something. I know, I have like fucking 5 playthroughs, I think, already. Um, but it would be so fun. I mean, that's why 4 is so good. 4, 4, is the, 4 is the Resident Evil game that no matter how often you play it, it's still exciting. I'm still kind of sad about Ethan. Um... But maybe, maybe like next year, or maybe like in two years or so, maybe we can revisit it. Or maybe before a new Resi comes out or something, we can play this one again and like go through it again with a fresh mindset and see if we like it more a second time around. Um, Cause I, I do sometimes have like a hard time adjusting to what a game wants me to do. But then going through it again, knowing what the game is like, I sometimes appreciate it more, if that makes sense. So who knows? Let's let's go through it again in a year or two and see what it's like. Because 7, I definitely, when I revisited it later, I was like, this game is actually really solid. And then I played it again last week and I was like, this game is really good. <laughs> I really liked it. It was really good. Anyway, I've been rambling long enough. I can talk about Resi all day. Um, I also am still missing a playthrough of Revelations 2 on my channel. I'm still missing um, another one of those Dead Aim games. I have a, I've done a couple. I've done the PS1 ones and I did the really bad. So some of you might not know this, but there is a, there's a Dead Aim Resident Evil Dino Crisis crossover game. Uh, there is literally a Resident Evil game that has dinosaurs in it and it's really bad and it's like an hour and a half to beat and I played that one time. <laughs> um, I forgot what it's called. I think it's just Dead Aim, but there's a PS2 one for that that I haven't done yet either that I want to do. And then there's the Umbrella Chronicles on the Wii that I haven't done yet. I know they're not that great, but I kind of just like want to complete the franchise, there's just a couple Resi games that I haven't done yet on my channel, so... Who knows? Maybe I can get away with it, maybe? <laughs> so, I'm gonna leave it here. Sorry for this super long outro. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, definitely feel free to discuss the ending in the comments. I will be here to read it and maybe join in the discussion here and there. Uh, definitely shed some light on the story for me and on the lore. I want to know how it's all connected because my mind is a little bit vague on like BSAA and how that all comes back here. Um, I definitely liked all the little nods to the older games though. Spencer showing up, Trevor showing up was cool. Um, I really liked that. Didn't see any Wesker though. Hmm. They could have they could have put a little hint to Wesker in there. Wesker is a big character, but uh, never mind. I start rambling again. <sighs> I hope you guys liked it. Leave a like if you enjoyed this series. Thank you so much for watching till the very end. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for all the interest in the series. It was so fun going through it. I really, really enjoyed it. And I am glad that you guys were here to watch it with me. I will see you guys soon with a new series. And it is probably going to be Silent Hill. So I hope you guys like it. Bye, guys. Bye.